Do I look spooky, baby? I Alright guys, I got somewhere to be in a few hours and I had no ideas for videos today and I looked at my channel and I was like, you know, out of my recent videos, I would say a lot of people really supported the video about mole rat. So we're back with some mole rat content today because that's what you guys want, right? That's what you guys want, right? Recently, Mr. Mole has uh, quit TikTok and the reason for their quitting is, is some bullshit. Let's get into it. As always, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And uh, if you guys like and subscribe, you know, at any Halloween party you go to, if you guys want to get laid, you'll get laid. If you guys want to eat good food, you'll eat good food. If you guys want to get drunk as fuck, you'll get drunk as fuck as long as you guys like and subscribe. If not, you'll get in a fatal car accident. But, uh, yeah, that being said, let's begin. I really hate to come on here to make this video. Oh, I, I really hate to come on here. Shut up, dude. Your voice is normal now. What happened to the... <laughs> like, what happened to that shit, right? Oh, oh, guess what? It was all bullshit. All these content creators are all full of shit. Their shtick is like, oh, if I act retarded... I'll grow a massive fan base. Look at Tommy in it. Tommy in it hops on the track like, and everyone's like, ah, what a great guy. But behind the scenes, Tommy in it has slaves. Does Fuzz99, aka Mole, aka Mole Rat, have slaves too? I don't know. And I really don't want to because I know that a lot of you out there still really enjoy and like my videos. Who the fuck really enjoys and likes shit maybe uh the 400,000 followers maybe they accidentally double tap the well they don't double tap maybe they accidentally hit the follow button let's pray to god they don't actually enjoy the the horse shit we'll be getting into and that we've already reviewed because um it it's hot and it smells like it smells like horse shit and they make your day and they make you smile and that's <laughs> all i've ever wanted in life Unfortunately, this morning, I had a really bad incident with a hater and had to get the police involved. I wonder what the incident was. It was probably just some kid who was like, I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna kill your family. And then uh, Mole was like, no. But uh, the thing about being a content creator is, dude, I get plenty of death threats. I know plenty of people who have gotten plenty of death threats. And the sad reality is, man, that's just kind of part of the job of being a content creator. And really, those threats only have as much weight as you give them. Well, I mean, I guess that depends because if they send a picture from outside your house with a circle around your window and they send you a message like, in 20 minutes, I'm throwing a grenade through your window, maybe, um, maybe get the police involved at that point. A lot of people in my life know my current situation right now and I wish I could talk about it more, but I don't want to and can't really get into it. But I currently am being advised by the police to take a step back from TikTok. Take a step back from TikTok. Yo, let's go! We finally won, dude. No more of this bullshit. I'm glad you asked! It's over, bro. Thank the Lord. Maybe wishes do come true. After last video, I went to a uh, local mall, and they had that big fountain with the coins and shit, and I was like, please, make it go away. Make- a uh, fuck. Make them go away. And thankfully, due to some higher power, we made it here. We won. It's over. Well, I mean, uh, probably not, let's be honest. I have to take a break for a little while until a lot of this hate calms down. It might be a week. It might be a month, it might be a year, it might be forever. Forever. It might be forever? Guys, this is the greatest day of my entire life. And let me explain, because you guys might not understand, alright? So this mole person, after they made that video, they, they're talking about, Oh my god, oh my god, all these haters coming, all these hate. Guys, mole... She might as well have been a hater showing up and stalking me, all right, in my subconscious. Every day, I get up. Did I say she? Yeah, you said she. What are you, a fucking transphobic little bitch, huh? What, what are you? Are you transphobic, huh? Are you transphobic? He's been in my subconscious. He's been in my ears all the time with this yelling shit, the, the voice. It's just, it's been everywhere, man. I mean, it's in my dreams, too. And the fact that they're finally going away... You know, may maybe dreams do happen. I truly don't know how long of a break that I'm going to take or have to take. Before I go, though, I did want to talk about two major assumptions that the haters are making about me and just clarify things because I... Because <laughs> I'm not like the other boys. All right, guys, since we're the haters, well, I mean, b between us, 
we're not the haters like this shit is just ass but uh, and since we're the haters um let's see let's see if uh mole is gonna talk about the two main assumptions that we make about him which my two main assumptions are autism and wanting attention so let's see I just want to clarify because i was gonna make a video this week to talk about it but obviously i have to leave now <laughs> so um real quick one i have never once said that my content is for kids or that my intent has been to make content for kids uh are you sure about that mo <laughs> Well, you know what? These prizes stink anyway, so I'm gonna just play on my phone for free. Are you telling me this shit's not targeted towards kids slash made for kids? Are you fucking serious? Are you are you dead ass? This isn't for kids? Like, what the fuck? He sat there and said that with his chest. My content's not directed towards kids. Are you fucking joking, dude? So I'm guessing people brought up this criticism or assumption rather about uh, their content being directed towards kids. And I think the main issue people have with it is because, oh my God, they're poisoning the water. Uh, the kids, it's about LGBT. Where in my opinion, I'm pretty indifferent on that whole topic. Like I, I don't really give a fuck. I'm not planning on having kids. So it doesn't really affect me at all. But to sit there and say that your content is not at all made for kids, advertised for kids, directed to kids or whatever, that is fucking crazy. Most people don't know this, but you have to be at least 13 years old to even make or have a TikTok account. Are you... Are you fucking joking? Across the board on social media, the main age is fucking 13. Do you think every single person on TikTok is 13? Is, are they trying to make that argument right now? Um, some people are mad that they're saying my content is made for kids, and they're mad that it could be controversial, but, um, guys, yeah, yeah, if you guys did not know, you have to be 13 years old uh, or above to use TikTok, and in my opinion, 13 is a teen, and I'll probably fuck a 13. Like, holy shit, dude. Obviously, your content is cookie-cutter bullshit, just like mine. You have to know that the way you're making your videos is gonna attract a large kid audience like i don't know i, I think i need to take a piss or something and tiktok makes your account private until you're at least the age of 16. what does that mean that doesn't even make any sense so if a kid is 13 years old watching your content and they have a private account why does that matter because at the end of the day they're still watching your videos what kind of argument is that well don't worry dumper man because you can have a well thought out thorough discussion in the comments right they turned the comments off. If a kid does find my TikToks, that is out of my control. From that point on, it's on the parents' duty to be in charge of monitoring what their kids are watching and doing. I make my content to be family friendly and wholesome because that's who I am and I want to be inclusive to everyone out there. How much you guys want to bet behind the scenes this person is an evil, manipulative, deceitful cretin who will stop at absolutely nothing to get what they want. I don't know, I'm getting a, a kind of evil vibe by watching the video. And I want people to know that this is a safe place where they can ask any question they want and they won't get judged. A safe place where they can ask any inclusive for everyone. Like, blah. <laughs> Cause like, nobody wants to be straight. <laughs> and look guys, I don't wanna be that guy that's like, imagine if a straight person said this about gay people. But imagine a straight person said that about gay people, like holy shit. But I digress, Mo makes family friendly inclusivity content where people can ask questions and it's welcome for all people, especially straight people. Secondly, I never said I hate straight people. I literally said, like who would want to be straight? Blech. You might have never said it, Mo, but we all know you think it. We all know you think it deep down. We all know deep down, every time you wake up, you're like, fuck those straight people. And like, I literally do not know how to str Look at that face they're making. They're trying so hard to not shit themselves. Stress this enough. My content is for the gays, not the straights. <laughs> but, but what if I just want to be educated? Isn't the whole point of, of like gay content? Okay, not the entire point, but isn't a big part of gay content to be like, all right, let me inform the, you know, the uneducated straight people and they'll, they'll accept us and all that shit. Dude, this person is straight up like, no straight people on my page. Mm -mm -mm. If I see you on my page, dude, I'm getting the whip. 
And as a gay person who grew up thinking they had to be straight, who never saw one ounce of any kind of LGBTQ representation in any media, who hated themselves when they realized they were gay, and wished and wished and prayed that they weren't. Oh my god, it's getting really serious now. <laughs> Shit. And then almost took Yeeted their fucking themselves. life. <laughs> Sorry guys, the um... See, the the laughter wasn't about what they said. It was the uh, the edit there. That was that was a uh, that was a good edit. And then after a long time, eventually learned and accepted that it was okay to be gay and that you can love who you want to love. Yeah, I would never want to go back to being straight or ever be straight. And a lot of gay people who I make these videos for and who have gone through the same exact things feel the exact same fucking way. So I'm sorry. It's hard to take them seriously when they're like doing this big rant and they, they do the hand flick there, like the Jeff Hardy hand flick. To all the straight people who I offended. But y'all need to realize that the straights have not been kind to us. And I would not give up loving the person I love for anything in this world. Okay, and that's the entire video. Holy fucking shit. Um, so what I learned from this is that, um, straight people are, are bad. Yo! Oh my fucking god, they never end the jump scares. Alright guys, if you enjoyed or agreed with anything I said today, um, comment down below turkey, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys, I'll catch you guys all soon. This video was fucking terrible.